Diamond Channel, welcome. Right, today this video is a preview only of the latest foot instructional guide. We're making a trillion cut stone mount, single stone ring, little trillion cut stone. I made it in a, in a way this always happens. I do the full instructional guide and by the time I finished it, I'm just full of variations of new ideas for new stones. This, this channel is just infinite. I'm just gonna go, on for, gonna go on forever. Just the amount of stuff I can show you how to make. But anyway, this video was specifically about making a single stone ring for a trillion cut stone. It was the third of a little series of um, videos I made for the trillion cuts. So I've been asked questions about them for quite a long time. So I thought I'd just spend, spend a week or two putting loads of information out there on making mounts for trillion cut stone. So I've done a ring, done an earring, I've done like a bezel set thing that could be could be a ring or a pendant or whatever you want it to be. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's the latest full instructional guide. If you want to see it, you've got to become a patron. It's a patrons only video. Uh, link in the description. Basically, it's patreon.com forward slash diamond mounter. And you get access to not only this video, but all of them. There's like 25 full instructional guides now. They're like kind of, I see them as like mini online courses. So well cheap from 10 pound a month, you get access to all these videos. So yeah, mega cheap. And it's not like you're tied in for a year or whatever. You can come and go, people people do that all the time. Uh, talking about new patrons, I've got to say thank you to these guys. We've got Lauren Cranford, Matt Horton, David Jacobs, uh, Rebecca, returning customer, Earl Bramley Howard. Thank you, Earl. Uh, Drew Sumwalt, and new one today, Yeti Group. Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate you becoming patrons. Genuinely helping me out. Uh, helping me continue this channel. I've still got a ton of stuff I want to share. Uh, not even just going through what's in my mind from what I learned in the past, but then things like, like I'm talking about making this ring, just going through the process of making it. I'm just coming up with ideas as, it, as I go along. So it's just kind of this channel's infinite. It's just gonna go on and on with fresh ideas and fresh designs to show you how to make things. And I mean, it's not like there's only one way to make something as well. There's like three or four different ways. Um, so yeah, if you see me make something on the channel, you're welcome to comment if you know an alternative way, like it's a video idea. I literally have made videos in the past just from people's comments, just to try new things out. So yeah, it's all, this channel was like for, not only like I know it all and I'm sharing everything to other people to teach, I'm, I'm happy to learn as well. So if you've got new ideas, let me know in the comments and I will get on it. So share all the information, get, get everybody learning to make jewelry to a nice high quality again. Um, right, let's get into it. So I'm gonna sort of rub my, beeswax on there. A thin little layer. Let's push the stone on. This is where I've seen other jewelers use super glue. I think super glue is way over the top. Just for this, just to be able to scratch around it. I think it's well over the top. So just a bit of beeswax look. Things stick to it. I just stuck it down from underneath so I can show you this. That's about the, the height I want it. I don't want it sticking up really proud from the metal work. I want it down quite low. Could go lower than that quite easily without it looking wrong or anything. You can go right down. So just looking at this, I'm thinking right, that's the underneath my side. I mean, that much is loads. It's only got to be bent to the middle. They're all three are going to meet in the middle. So you, you don't need a lot, but having extra length gives you that leverage. You can bend things a bit neater, gives you a bit of bit of no man's land you can grab it with your pliers or whatever and then bend it without having to worry about what's remaining having a plier mark on there just get my file in there so I can get that curve around the bottom a little bit see what I'm doing I'm doing this and then going up the, up the straight and then tilting it under the corner a little bit. So now that side's sort of there like that, I can just get something sharp and scratch her line on the other side so I get the distances I need and stuff. And then we've got a little piece to solder in. If you saw my three claw trillion cut earring full instructional guide, you may remember that I was talking quite a lot about how the center isn't the same distance. It's not in the middle between the top and the bottom, those bottom two. It's actually much closer to the bottom two. Uh, well, I can see the middle because that, well, we've just soldered it. Basically, it's quite easy. We just got to line that up on the bar. But look, if I do that, the shank is much closer to the bottom two claws. Nice. 
I adjusted the paper on my mini whizzer, so sticking out the top, it just allows you to get to extra difficult to reach little parts. Also, it's worth going around the inside of the claws as well sometimes. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and set this, but I'm going to gently pull my claws back. If during the early stages of making your mount, you didn't check and double check your solder joins around your claws, it's right now, this last stage, it can cause you a problem. Like if that's not soldered properly, it could crack open when you're pulling the claws back. So I've said before in my videos, things you're doing right at the start will affect you all the way through making the piece. So if you don't do things properly, you cause yourself problems later on. So all set, it's going to a final buff. Very light buff. It's all fingerprinty. And uh, yeah, there you go. This is done. And there you go, trillion cut ring. Like I say, like I mentioned before, I really like those. It goes almost like a, like a heart shape or sort of something nice about that going to a V on the side. But yeah, there you go. Quite a sweet, nice ring. With a massive finger size. <laughs>